Hi, my friend, Kevin here. In my last video on Howard Business School Online, I introduced you to the Credential Readiness, which is uh, one of many programs on Howard Business School Online. If you haven't watched it yet, please find the link in the description below and watch it. Because there I talked about what the program is about. I should upload three videos a week, but uh, really couldn't do it because I've been preparing for an exam while working full time. Sorry about that, but uh, I'll try my best to make as many videos as possible. In this video, I'd like to talk about my thoughts on the program in a more detailed way as a product review. This may help you decide whether this program worth you spending uh, $2,250 and 17 weeks of your time. For most of us, $2,250 is about two to three weeks salary. With only 52 weeks per year, that's about three to four percent of your annual income. For the 17 weeks of time that you probably spend on your program, you can actually do other more productive work. Of course, if you are at home due to pandemic and spending most of your time playing video games and uh, watching Netflix and uh, have enough money to spare, then this might be a good way to push yourself to learn something new if you haven't learned business before. Now you might be thinking that this is a Howard Business School program and if I successfully complete this program, I would send out in my peers, in my job applications. I'm a nice person who don't like to discourage others, but uh, I'm also a honest person. This is unlikely true that one would be picked out of an application pool just because he or she has Howard on his or her resume. At least I think. I applied for dozens of jobs after I completed this program with uh, Howard in bold at the top of my resume. I don't think any attention I got with that resume is because I have Howard in it. It's just a proof that you are interested in continuous learning and self-development, but does not directly translate into competency at the specific job. It's a proof that you have basic understanding of finance, business, and analytics, which is what the program is composed of. But it doesn't really mean that you can evaluate a security or you can make useful insight out of business data, or you can solve a practical business problem. For the name Howard, believe me, it's not as valuable as it is on a uh, real Howard student's resume. By the way, they would clearly tell you that you are not considered as a student when you're taking these courses. If you're thinking about pushing yourself to learn something new, this is an expensive way to do so. Because the content and the knowledge that they teach is not exclusive. You can find what they teach in books. Like finance that they teach can be found in any introductory finance box, which is really about $20 to $50. You can buy another two books from Amazon, $50 each. Uh, one for business analytics, the other one for business management. Your total cost would be less than $150 for the same knowledge that you'd learn from Howard Business School Online, like core. It's like making your own 20 cent per cup coffee versus going to Starbucks and getting a $5 coffee. With $2,250, you can buy 50, even 60 books and read for years. Or you can buy a few Tesla stocks. You might say, well, we're paying for a brand. Yeah, it's a luxury brand. It's definitely a luxury brand, which normal people like me can't really afford, but probably still pay. It's like buying Chanel number no. five perfume when your monthly income is less than $1,000. To be honest, I myself regret for spending so much money for such a little knowledge. I don't really regret for the knowledge that I have learned from it, of course, but uh, I regret how much I paid for it. This is one of many problems of modern day education. The society has made education into sellable products. Some people might say, if you think education is expensive, try ignorance. That's something one would say when they try to confuse you by mixing education and luxury products and try to sell you as a whole. Education is largely about knowledge and skills, which is very cheap, especially in this digital era. You can find most of them for free on the internet. All you need to pay is $50 per month internet fee. But the other one is about customer experience and brand name, which supposedly bring you more prestigious opportunities. Like if you go to Howard Business School MBA program and Stanford Business School MBA program, which cost you $200,000 to $300,000 and two years of your lifetime. You'll meet with very accomplished classmates, most of whom have strong financial backgrounds. There you'll also hear Fortune 500 CEOs and CFO 
talk about their lives, their stories, and their perspectives. With these, of course, you can make connections for your future career. These are the things that you are mostly paying for and uh, will experience as a customer if you are a uh, real Howard student on Howard campus, but not when you are taking their online courses. Of course, Howard Business School knows that and uh, take advantage of their brand and created this online cash cow program. Actually, this leads us to a question. Why do we go to this expensive elite school when you can learn the knowledge on your own? As Elon Musk and other famous people say, one actually does not need a degree. Don't even mention a degree from a uh, elite school. The reason we go to school and try to get a degree from a famous university is because this is a most common, if not the easiest way to prove that you are capable to do certain entry-level jobs. That means if you are able to prove that you can do the same job otherwise, then you don't need a degree. You just need the knowledge, skills, and probably some experience. Getting back to Harvard Business School Online, which alone I believe is not enough to prove that you are capable to do most of the business related job. You gotta have something else. Most people who take core credential of readiness are not majored in finance or business. They're often non-business, non-finance people. In that case, core, the online courses are a plus when you're considered for a position where you're expected to perform non-business and uh, non-finance job mostly, uh, with a little bit mix of uh, finance and business work. However, I don't think these online courses are very helpful if you're looking for a software engineer job or other non-business jobs. If you are majored in business or finance, don't take core unless you didn't learn what you're supposed to learn in your undergrad. Because core teaches you most basic finance, business, and analytics, which I think one can learn in your undergrad or just by reading books. So as I said in my previous video on Howard Business School Online, think carefully before you're committing $2,200 $50 and 17 weeks of your time. You know, if you commit this much time, this much money into, let's say, stock trading, the return is uh, much more likely and uh, much more immediate than taking these courses. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Your like is encouragement for me. As always, see you next time.